doesn't mean that uh, we were hundred percent for it. No, far from it. We tried to dissuade her. Or what we can do is to hope for the best. <clears throat> this is my dad, and he'll let you know how he feels about me and Mombi going on a trip around the world. Actually, a child coming and saying that uh, she is going on a trip, and with a grandchild, it is very hard. But uh, sometimes, as a parent, we have to let it go. It is, it is not that you let it go that easily. But it was hard, not only on me and also on her mom and the grandma, so it's hard. But uh, we have to accept if that's what she really want to do, or what we can do is just to pray that God be with her to protect her and the baby, Mumbi. So what can we say? Just uh, give them blessing. It's not easy when somebody, uh, your child kind of had a good job and just say, oh, I'm leaving that company car, everything, and just uh, to just to travel. But uh, as a parent, uh, you try give reasons, give this or the other. But some things, uh, kind of some things are God's working, so we don't know of what we and to pray to God that uh, things will work out for her, that she will be happy. And uh, if things work out, great and glory to God. If it doesn't work out, she has a home, she has balance, she has her brothers and sisters, so we will always be watching for her. But at the end of the day, the children are forced to make their own decision and hopefully things uh, work it out because at least they have a mind of their own or what we can do is to guide them. So what do you think about me and Mombi going and traveling um, around the world by ourselves? I think it's, it's a good thing. I mean, it's going to be scary, but to at least explore and see where that journey takes you, you know? And I think I was watching somewhere else where it says, you know, whatever you're doing, you don't flinch. You know, even if it fails, at least you tried something. At least you explored it. And so you deciding that you want to go travel with Mumbi is, I think, a great idea. Were you, did you have any apprehensions whenever I first said it? No, because... It's something that you oh, it's something you, I remember you've always talked about since you were in high school, since you, you continued talking about it in college, even while you were working. So now that you finally feel you know confident, comfortable enough to like just travel, I say you'd follow it. Have fun on that journey, you know, fully experience it. Don't go to all the famous parts. Try to really absorb the culture, trying to live in the culture with the people who actually live there, not the people who are put in a bubble, but if you get to live with people who actually live in that country, day to day and not people just come to visit that country, you're really gonna have a much more enjoyable experience. The vision, the vision is I wanna travel. I just wanna travel and see different cultures, see different countries, and that's good enough. And I think we, had, you know, we had a conversation about this. That it doesn't have to be overcomplicated. Sometimes the right answer is the simplest answer. It doesn't have to be complicated. You do so much research. The rest you have to just live and survive. You know, mm -hmm. you have to go and experience it. Because as you experience it, yeah, I'm sure you're gonna have some places where it might be a little bit dangerous. But you should, you definitely just take precautions. Really absorb the culture, and then the second night start planning. Okay. I feel, you know, pretty safe. I feel like there's nobody really, you know, I feel like I can take my equipment out there. As you know, with the lens, I can't see. You know, you know, you know, you know, you know you the real eyes. My real eyes. <laughs> <laughs> my real eyes. Yeah.